The ownership of the Mets changes hands for the first time in team history as Fred Wilpon and a new ownership group take control of the franchise. This is an era of New York Mets baseball when the Wilpons came in and, and really set up this Mets organization for the first few years of their ownership and rebuild this Mets franchise that was struggling at this time. They were picking first overall in the draft. So they had their pick of any player on the board. At a number one, wisely, they go with Dallas Strawberry, who turns out to be one of the best hitters in the franchise's history. Billy Bean is someone they got later on in that first round who is also a highly regarded prospect, five tool player. It's with the Mets. Uh, year in and year out, going absolutely no place. Here is the great hope for the future. Yeah, looks in Strawberry with the Mets. It, it's kind of like promise that could have been. He was the most talented player that I've ever seen in my life. He was the total package. He came up and he was that power hitter. He was a great outfielder. He could hit the ball a country mile. The majestic shots. You go up back up to Montreal and what he did up uh, against the Expos and hitting the roof. The only thing I know about Billy Bean is that he, Brad Pitt played him in Moneyball. Who knew Billy Bean was going to turn into Billy Bean out with the Oakland Athletics? Unfortunately, not as good of a baseball player as he is, an executive doing his things out in Oakland. As, as good as we look at Billy Bean, guys never won anything, right? At least Strawberry has the ring. The end result was that for a brief period of time, the Mets were far more popular in New York City than the Yankees, who had dominated the five boroughs for decades. The Wilpons didn't get in their own way. They let the baseball people do the baseball things. They were happy just to sell tickets and have a successful franchise. Unfortunately, Strawberry, we know that didn't end well here in New York with the Mets when he took the money and ran with the Los Angeles Dodgers, but had all kinds of issues away from the baseball field dealing with the fact of of using alcohol, drugs, whatever it might be. His career should never have deviated from flushing. The Mets should never have let him go. He should have been a Met for life, just like Doc Gooden. Daryl Strawberry was a great Met, never should have left. The Wilpons may have traded away Billy Bean, who, who went on to Moneyball fame, uh, but they got Tim Tuffle for it. Well, if the Mets kept Billy Bean, he might be their general manager right now because he's been a more successful general manager than he was a baseball player for the Mets.